What's up guys, Barry Gaming here, back with some more Idle Heroes news for July 24th, 2023, and if you guys have noticed, we have our special July event, uh, it, it of course looks interesting, Lunatic Asylum Nightmare, Run Run Escape from the Nightmare, and it looks like we're going to get a few days in a row here with some special information about the uh, potential event, um... It looks fancy. I feel like it's going to be simplistic, but it says wake up from a nightmare and you cannot find out where I and cannot find out where I am. It's weird verbiage the way they put this. What secret is hidden in the lunatic asylum? It is the an unspeakable past or is there a horrifying mystery? Explore, will you be brave enough to unlock the dusty secrets or will you speed away with the reward? So uh, we do have some infographics and some additional information from the WeChat. So hopefully you guys enjoy this one. Hit that subscribe button. Let's jump right into it. <laughs> So here we go. We have this little interesting thing. It says DH Madhouse in the background, Lunatic Asylum on Facebook. It says Lutz received a mysterious invitation letter and came to an abandoned mental hospital with the address on the letter. Come and help Lutz find the mysterious person behind the invitation letter. So let's see what it says. The hospital lobby was where patients were received. Now it looks shabby. Uh, there's a smash chandelier there's a dusty counter uh yeah that looks like some soil stuff or bloody stuff so i don't think i like the idea of that uh the office weird surgery plan i mean that's like a brain can't tell if it's blood or an oil coat <laughs> probably the nearest room in the building is the office and then the third one is the hospital canteen the canteen the tableware still remains in the same state as it was used last time years ago you'd better not open it the pot unless you want to see rotten leftovers the wheelchair that shouldn't be here um and then it has do to be continued so i'm wondering if we're going to get spoilers throughout the week on this event which wouldn't surprise me um but essentially what i believe this is talking about here so if we just jump back into the game real quick uh this seems like it's going to be a decent event maybe for fantasy factory and profit summoning events Hopefully, fingers crossed, free sublimation chest, maybe two, something like that. But let's go over the translations that we have for the uh, the WeChat as well. It says, this is a series of themed events that we'll be launching for next week's event. Get ready to help Lutz find the mysterious person behind the invitation letter. Uh, and really, that's about it. So I think what this is going to be, if we actually take a look, like, so if we go into detail here, it looks like we have like, wood <laughs> it looks like the wood from the viking saga right so uh, I, maybe that's just a stand-in icon right now um but essentially what this seems like is these are going to be the three rooms to unlock rewards and then you unlock like all three rooms you get all the rewards type thing for the people who are going to like super spend on this event chances are it takes like a certain number of these like 10 per and then maybe you can get like a sublimation chest for clearing everything in the room uh, it could be a chance but usually they stick away from the rng which is one thing i do really appreciate about uh dh games events is you can kind of math out most of the time what you need to get these done and yeah each one um sure i don't know why they blur some of these things out again they're like pointing to like blood stains on like every single one of these here uh, but it does look like these aren't active, whereas these are active, and this is like the repaired or fixed or highlighted. I don't know, but this does mean there is a good chance that we might be getting some good rewards this week. So guys, make sure you guys are saving your profit orbs. Make sure you guys are saving your gems, because like I said, this event is going to really come down to this right here. Profit summoning rewards. Now, one thing they've told me in the past is the rewards, like the heroes you see here, they're not guaranteed to be there. That's just put in one, like the first day that they're planning the event. By the end of the day, it might actually change. It is Arania, which is not a great either tenant or transcendent hero to build. Arguably the worst, which we are going to be having a tier list coming out very soon for that as well. Heroic Miracle, Giving Elena, and then of course, Fantasy Factory. The one thing I will say about having these special events during Fantasy Factory weeks is it does add another way to potentially get rewards. And that's if you've been like saving up a bunch of Aurora stars. If you guys remember, like, oh, hey, here's the icon in there, construction timber. That's exactly what the icon was on uh, this guy right here, right? 
this like the construction timber yeah it's definitely the construction timber just super super blurry so uh yeah that's for the different events that you still can't use anyway um can't sell any of these anyway okay cool we have all these fish from forever ago we can't sell. look at all these whales we had good lord and all these leviathans anyway i will say this is a good event because well being able to use these aurora stars is kind of wait hold on fantasy factory right wait a minute why <laughs> uh, i'm just confused why i had 105 extra lollipops i guess from the first one ever and i didn't even realize it anyway you're gonna be using these sweet lollipops anyway next week to get more honey stars and aurora stars the nice thing about events like coming up with this week if for some reason you saved number one a jigsaw puzzle if you guys remember last month last profit over event or actually at the beginning of this month i told you guys save your jigsaw puzzles the jigsaw puzzles can be saved between events i did that on the free to play account and we're saving a bunch of aurora stars so if we take a look at our free to play account even hopefully we did save quite a few of those uh yeah we have like 119 which is kind of cool man i've actually left a lot of these on the table across the history of this account that feels bad uh either way though not a big deal we're going to be hopefully getting tons of good rewards. Make sure you guys are continuing to save up your profit orbs. You're going to want at least probably, it's hard to say nowadays. 640 is the new like eight max loops, but most people or most events is gone up to uh, like four or no 600. It's been like 600 has been the cap on the event. So consider doing that and also just keep saving your gems up because number one you're going to need it for the event by itself and then you never know what might be able to be purchasable in uh this right here because sometimes like these currencies can actually be bought as well that's a big question mark last i let to i'd like to know i'd like to hear some feedback about them putting out spoilers like this they actually asked me about this out the other day because they did it with anniversary where they did like a little mini spoiler on all the days leading up to anniversary this one looks like because it says to be continued might be the fact that we're going to get like a little bit more information every single day with thursday of course still being the big low the big tons of information we get at the end of the week so definitely leave some feedback down below let me know who you guys think this is who's Who's the hero? That's that's the big question here. Who's the actual hero behind it? It has to be a shadow hero. Is it Azrael? I mean, he's pretty pretty sinister looking. I don't know. And does that even matter? I mean, it's just a theme for the event. So ah, it is what it is. Hopefully you guys enjoy us. And make sure you guys take one second, hit that subscribe button. We'll have more information coming to you later today. And we'll have a brand new tier list coming sometime in the next couple of days as well. I'll see you guys next time.